Hello, Messiah members, friends, and neighbors near and far. My name is Chuck Harris, and I serve Messiah as pastor. It's good to greet you uh, here on this Saturday, May 2nd. I am greeting you the day after our Governor Jay Inslee uh, spoke to us about his four-phased approach to opening up the state of Washington and resuming an, an ever-increasing level our economic and social activities as uh, people in the state of Washington. Before I get into some details about how Messiah is going to be responding and working with um, this four-phase plan, I want to say a special word of thanks to all of our members and friends and, and neighbors near and far for your wonderful outpouring of support, especially financially. Uh, during this time of pandemic, we as a leadership team at Messiah have been so heartened by your wonderful gifts and contributions, along with your prayers and acts of support for Messiah and its mission and ministry. We really are very grateful for that and want to convey to you, I do, a heartfelt thanks for this wonderful generosity that you have shown these past weeks. And my encouragement, of course, is that we as a community continue uh, to support our work as a congregation with uh, vigor and generosity that will allow us uh, to emerge from this time of pandemic in a strong and vital manner. I want to talk, first of all, uh, about worship. As I have uh, looked at Governor Inslee's four phased process for opening up the state and also read some uh, news reports about his uh, conference today uh, where he addressed us here in the state. It looks like it's going to be a while before we can shoulder to shoulder worship together uh, in any substantial numbers. And so we will continue as uh, the council and the executive team and staff to monitor when we might be able in some number to gather together in our sanctuary. And even when we do that, it's going to look much differently. So we will continue to, be, to understand what the meaning of the different four phases are and what's allowed and what's not during that. We'll also receive input from uh, King County and uh, based on the good guidance that we receive from our elected leaders, we will um, adapt and begin to evolve how we begin slowly but surely uh, to be able to gather physically together again, along with continuing our online presence that has been uh, so well developed over these past weeks. We want to ensure that as we do move forward and can be together physically, we do not lose some of the wonderful new skills that we've learned in making our life available online to a large uh, group of people. So we will both con continue to provide that as well as um, think about ways in which we can begin to be together physically in a safe manner uh, in the future. We've had conversations as a staff, as an executive team, and as a council about uh, what some of our future will look like as the people of God at Messiah. And I want to address some specific activities that are important in our life. And first of all, I want to mention AOB Sunday, which is usually the first Sunday in June, and then Senior Sunday, which is also in June. Obviously, by the governor's words uh, yesterday on Friday, we will not be able to do those Sundays in a way that we have done them in the past. Tracy Votney and Savannah Phelan, our faith formation leads, will uh, be communicating with everybody who is intimately involved in those activities, and we will um, develop a plan that will really create um, a celebration even in the midst of this pandemic, and really be able to honor and lift up our AOB uh, kids and our high school seniors. So be looking for more information about that as we move forward. 
I do want to mention that tomorrow, Sunday, uh, we have our annual Mission Sunday, and there'll be a lot of information coming out about how folks can participate in our online auction. And please tune in online for the worship where there will be uh, lots of great information and a celebration of our fifth and sixth graders and their work on Mission Sunday during this time of pandemic. They, along with uh, their leaders, have been just so wonderful, Anne and Jamie Bonnick, in terms of pushing this forward, even under these circumstances that are much different from circumstances uh, just a few weeks ago. Tracy and Savannah will continue uh, to talk to folks and update folks on what had been planned as our summer activities, our mission trips and uh, trips to Flathead Lutheran Bible Camp. They'll continue to communicate what might be possible in terms of those activities. We are, again, monitoring what phase we're in, and, and we also have to be respectful and knowledgeable about um, what the state of Montana is doing, as well as the state of Alaska, since Flathead is in Montana and our major mission trip this summer is in Alaska. So, and continue to be uh, listening for information about um, those activities. Uh, Tracy and Savannah have done a great job already um, communicating with folks, and so just keep your ears open for more information as we figure out how to adapt and what we might do uh, given our current situations. When we think about our life as a community, worship is at the heart of it. We will, no matter what, continue online worship even when we can be together. Uh, we are every week working on how to make that an experience that's, that is participatory and that people feel good about being together, being one body in Christ for um, the sake of Auburn and King County and the world beyond. We are a people gathered uh, under Christ, called by God, empowered by the Holy Spirit, and to do mission with each other. We have received such great gifts from God, and we in turn share those gifts with others as our life uh, expands um, beyond just ourselves and to include our neighbors near and far. Once again, you can always go to our website, mlcauburn.org, for further information and updates about what we are doing and what activities are planned and how we continue to respond. On the website, there are email links to myself and all the staff members, so please feel free to reach out to us. Our phone numbers are also there. Feel free to reach out to us and we will um, have conversation with folks um, and, and speak about what we know and let you know about what's still up in the air as we move forward. We are also always, all of us, open to uh, receiving phone calls and praying together and just helping one another feel connected. So please uh, utilize that information that you find on the website. We are planning uh, some wonderful upgrades and expansions of our online presence. And so over these next weeks and months, um, be looking out for those and we will be able to speak to that um, more specifically as we um, go into the future. My prayers for us as a faith community as well as for faith communities um, not just around Auburn or the Puget Sound but across our state and nation are that we can continue to adapt, that we can continue to be um, a presence of Christ for one another and for our neighbors and that we can live into the mission that God is still giving us here during this time of pandemic. One last thing I want to mention, we have had some contact with a wonderful church uh, in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, uh, Spirit of Joy, and they reached out to us and asked to use some of our uh, um, musical presentations that they integrated into some of their worship and between conversations with their pastor, 
it has just been such a wonderful and heartening expression of how the church can work together in new ways during this time of pandemic that we are able to share our gifts and resources with one another and so i want to just say that here in ending to the people of messiah that we're going to continue to reach out and draw in the gifts and talents of our members make them available to the degree that folks are comfortable online and who knows other congregations near or far might want to pick up some of those uh, gifts and talents and share them with their people and we will be doing the same and if we find some material um, that is um, engaging and spirit-filled we will be asking others for permission if we can share that uh, through our uh, means here at Messiah so there are some beautiful wonderful activities happening and expressions of the church being Christ-like during this time of pandemic and so I just want to say for all Messiah members and friends and neighbors uh, this is this is a difficult time but it's also a time to be very very joyful and thankful for how God is utilizing all of us as we meet the, uh, the needs of the time and as we as God's people continue to be a blessing to others once again I love you all stay safe stay well and we'll be looking forward to talking to you again soon bye now